Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the brachial plexus and some of its major branches. First thing is the brachial plexus begins with five nerve roots. These five nerve roots are C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. And we need to know two mnemonics to get going. First mnemonic is this. Remember to drink cold beer. That's the first mnemonic. And what it stands for is this. Root, trunk, division, cord, and branch. And ultimately we want to get to the five branches here from these five nerve roots. In addition, the second mnemonic is this. Mum always read me Ulysses. Mum always read me Ulysses. M for musculocutaneous. A for axillary nerve. R for radial nerve. M for median nerve. U for ulnar nerve. That's what we ultimately want to get to from these five nerve roots. All right, let's begin. Like I said, we have five nerve roots coming from C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. Now, roots go into a trunk, just like roots of a tree go into a trunk, roots come together to form trunks, so some of these nerve roots are going to merge together. The way you remember it is the top two merge together to form a trunk, the bottom two merge together to form a trunk, and the middle one stays by itself to form a trunk. Now what we have is a superior, middle, and inferior trunks. Next part, so that means we look at nerve roots, there's five nerve roots. We look at the trunks, there's three trunks. But just like a normal tree, the trunk goes and branches off. So that means these are gonna branch off as well. Now, each of these have two branches. One anterior branch, one posterior branch. So I'm gonna draw the anterior branch as a solid line and the posterior branch as a broken line. This is how you remember it. First branch, anterior, posterior. Anterior, posterior, posterior anterior. So we've got three anterior branches and three posterior branches. And I shouldn't say branches, I should say divisions here, so I do apologize. So we've got five nerve roots, three trunks, six divisions, three anterior, three posterior. Now, as we go to a chord, the divisions are coming back together again. This is how you remember it. Let's first take the posterior divisions. All the posterior divisions come together to form a single chord. And this chord is called the posterior chord, unsurprisingly. So all the posterior divisions come together to form a single posterior chord. Anterior division. forms a chord. This anterior division forms a chord. This chord is called the lateral chord. This is called the medial chord. And what happens is this. This anterior branch merges with that anterior branch to form that chord, and this anterior branch stays by its lonesome. Now we've got three chords, lateral, posterior, medial chord. How do we get this chord to go to these particular branches? So firstly, the posterior chord is going to go to the radial and axillary. The lateral chord goes to musculocutaneous, and the medial chord goes to the ulna. What we're left with is the median nerve, this is where the lateral comes together with the medial and they go to the median. So as you can see, from the lateral cord straight to musculocutaneous, from the median cord straight to the ulna, 
from the posterior cord to the radial nerve and the axillary nerve, and then the median is comprised of both the lateral and medial nerve coming together. All right, now we've got the branches of the brachial plexus, but we, now we need to add some of the other major branches that are involved. Let's take a look. First we need to look at is a branch that comes off C5 nerve root. All right, and this branch is called the dorsal scapula nerve and the dorsal scapular nerve is going to go back and it's going to innervate the rhomboids. Rhomboids major, rhomboids minor, remember that's if you're going to bring your scapula back but also levator scapulae as well. We're also going to have nerve root coming from C5, C6 and C7 and this is going to be called the long thoracic nerve. And the long thoracic nerve innervates serratus anterior, you know, the boxer's muscle, all right, for pushing. As we move through and we go to the superior trunk, we're going to have two nerves. We're going to have the subscapular nerve, sorry, suprascapular nerve, I do apologize, suprascapular nerve, and the, and the nerve that goes to the subclavius. So suprascapular and two subclavius. So obviously that goes to subclavius and the suprascapular nerve is going to do, any ideas? Supraspinatus, infraspinatus. As we move across, we're going to go to the lateral cord. There's going to be a division of the lateral cord, or I should say a branch of the lateral cord that's going to innervate what's called the lateral pectoralis nerve and that's going to innervate pectoralis major. Now at the same time, down here, there's a medial pectoralis nerve coming off the medial cord, medial pectoralis nerve that does pec major and pec minor. In actual fact, there's branching that comes off that connects the two together. If we then move and have a look at the posterior cord. There's going to be three branches off the posterior cord. We're going to have the upper and lower. That's these two other side. Upper and lower. Now remember, this was suprascapular. This is going to be subscapular. Subscapular. Sub scapula. So an upper subscapular and lower subscapular nerve. And in the middle, I'm just going to draw it going down a little bit. We're going to have the, what we're going to have in the middle is the thoraco dorsal nerve. And the thoraco dorsal nerve is going to innervate the lats. All right. Here, when we look at the medial division, there's going to be two more medial divisions coming off here, and they're both called the medial cutaneous nerve. This one's medial cutaneous nerve to the arm, this one's medial cutaneous nerve to the forearm. Now let me just double check, we've got everything here. We've got the dorsal scapula, suprascapula, to the subclavius, the long thoracic, we've got the lateral pectoralis, medial pectoralis, both innervating the pecs, upper subscapula, lower subscapula, thoracodorsal, which is going to do the latissimus dorsi, and we've got the medial cutaneous for the arm and the forearm. And these are our major branches of the brachial plexus.